Okay everyone, so we're here on the model railway today and in today's review we're going to have a look at something that's more modern and uh, in my opinion one of the best looking uh, freight trains here in Britain. So in today's video I thought we'd have a look at this. This is the Hornby Class 66 uh, Freightliner livery. Now I know there's a lot of Freightliners out there with lots of different liveries but in my personal opinion I think Freightliner in green is probably one of the best. So I got this for my birthday. Uh, but we're in February now, so why is it taking me so long to make this video? Well, most of you are aware we did have a problem with the model railway. So there was a section of my track that was causing my locos to derail, and the metal in the track was all bent, and it wasn't put down properly, and it just didn't lie straight on the table, and it just got completely ruined. So what I had to do was cut out a section, and to be honest, it was quite painful to do. I mean, watching me cut up that strip of section of track was... The fact that I've never done that before, I was really worried that I might have made a mistake. But the results were actually quite good. I think I did a neat job, for the fact that I did that first time, I think I did a neat job of cutting that section out and putting a new section of track in. And it's fixed! Now obviously, like, I need to put new ballast down on it. I'll see if I try and zoom in for you guys. Um, but the fact that, you know, this is the first time I ever, like, cut out a section and put a new bit of track in, I think I, think I did alright. It doesn't look too bad, I think. But I know what you guys are thinking. I had three more other track to spare. Why can I not just do a review on the other three tracks that I still had? But that's very true. I could have done this review on the other three tracks. But the thing is, like, when I see a problem, I don't want to leave it. I want to, like, just get rid of it and solve that problem head on. But like, so it's not in my mind. So I had to abandon the review and just spend a few days cutting out a section and putting a new bit of track in. But now that's done, I can start reviewing again. So now that problem is solved, let's get this beautiful Freightliner out of its box and see what it looks like in close up. <laughs> Right, Mr. Oliver, so another Class 66. Now, why did I decide to go with Freightliner? Well, because my model railway project is basically, I'm basically basing it off either the West Coast Mainline or the East Coast Mainline, because it's a four-track mainline, but um, I was thinking that the passenger service will be Virgin trains, so they'll be in red. And for the freight service trains, I was thinking of going for Freightliner because they're in green. So it makes the layout a bit more colourful. So we had like red trains for the passenger trains and then the green trains for the freight trains. So it's a little bit more colour coordinated, which I quite like. But like, you know, my mind is, is weird. I mean, not, not a lot of people would think like that, but there you go. So, um, so let's slide this uh, locomotive out of its box. Now, some of you are wondering how much did I pay for this uh, for this uh, locomotive, well, model, uh, as normal people would say, but I like to call them locomotives because, like, you know, I don't really like the word, saying the word model. But anyway, how much did I pay for this? Well, I paid about £88 for this, which is, I think was quite a good deal. So let's slide the box out of its little cover thing, so we'll put that to one side. Um, oh, but there it is. Oh, that looks so nice. I mean, when you see it in, in front of you, obviously the green is a lot more darker than the actual um, cover on the box. But that's okay. So we'll slide you guys out. And we've got um, extra parts. And we've got a manual, which we'll probably have a look later. And I have to say, every time I do an unboxing video of like these model railway stuff, um, I just love the packaging so much. The packaging gets me every time because it's just so nice. It's much better than that horrible, like, polystyrene nonsense. So we've got uh, some extra detail parts here in a little baggie, so that's really good. So I'll pop that to one side. And here we go. We're about to look at the locomotive itself. So we're going to open this up. <clears throat> Very nice. So I'll take the dust. The dust cover is still on here. So th this, this locomotive must be brand new. It must be, because since it's got all of its extra like details and stuff and um, the dust cover is still on it this loco must be brand new it, it must be and here she is wow that looks nice doesn't it it's got quite a lot of weight to it but oh, that's i'm not I'm, i expect nothing less from a massive uh freight diesel locomotive i'll show you guys the front quickly now unfortunately because this is hornby uh it doesn't have any built-in lights into it it's just it's, it's just all painted on which um, which I can live with that, but um, I might maybe customize it and put some lights in this myself because I did do that with my uh, 
other class 66 and my class 59 I've, I've done that before and i think i can do that again maybe but although i might just leave it as it is so it's like nice mint condition although i might not but we'll just see um so show you guys a nice freightliner logo and look at the detailing on that logo it just looks so nice i just I, 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 I am a, I'm a lover for Freightliner uh, company. It just, it just looks so good. And I'll show you guys uh, the other side. Now the other side is basically just exactly the same. Um, but look at the detail, like in like the handrails on the front. If the camera will focus in, there you go. So look at the got, it's got a nice handrail painted white there. You got Freightline, Freightliner on the front. Um, so if I can show you guys uh, on the front, if, if the camera will focus. And it says Freightliner on the front, which looks really nice. <laughs> I do like that. And the number of this engine is uh, 66514. Good, that's a good number. I like that. But yes, that is. this is a really nice model. And it, well, I, again, locomotive. I don't like saying models. And I'll show you guys the top quickly. Looks very, very nice. And in a second, I am going to fit this thing with TTS sound. Oh yes, this thing will have sound, um, but I won't do that on camera because like, you don't want to see all that boring nonsense. Um, so yeah, this thing will have sound. Oh, this is so exciting. This is just so nice. And I have, and I think I might have the perfect uh, rolling stock for this thing to haul. So here we have the Class 66 Freightliner on the tracks, and I've already coupled uh, the uh, rail network uh, gravel wagons to it. So now th we need to do is to test to see if the sound works because I've just uh, put the whole thing back together. It's quite weird that before I have to do a review, I have to always take a locomotive apart, fit a sound chip or a decoder in it and then put it all back together again and then do the review. I have to do that every time because, you know, my digital, my layout is digital, sorry. I said digital before layout. No. Anyway, so uh, let's see if the sound works by starting up the engine. So let's do that. Right, are we ready? Here we go! Oh yeah, she started! She's a beauty! So let's see what kind of horns this baby has. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. And think it's time to get this a beautiful freight liner moving. I think so.
Right, so I'm not sure if you can hear my voice very clear because it is quite loud in here and bear in mind I'm only running just two trains and this layout is designed to run four trains and yet it's quite loud in here, the fact that I'm only just running, running two trains. So, Class 66 it runs brilliantly. Um, I thought I'd run the uh, Virgin Pendolino since, you know, it's, uh, it's a mainline express train. And we've got a nice freight train running as well. So um, I hope you guys did enjoy this little running session. Uh, make sure you click subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to that are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. these things. Sort of.